Hi there, I'm Tim Sutter. I'm here at the Classic Motorsports Workshop. This is our 57 Triumph TR3 race car. This old girl has been a race car since 1959, and I bought it from the original owner in 96, so I've been running it for almost 20 years. Right now what we're doing is refurbishing the whole car and getting it ready for next season. As I mentioned, this car has been a race car a long time. It's an old F production SCCA race car. It first raced up in Wisconsin, first few events of its life. The owner moved to Jacksonville, Florida in about 1961 and it ran all through the southeast at the old tracks as well as some of the famous tracks like Daytona until 1965. At that point the car was mothballed until I found it in 1996. And, uh, but this car's got a lot of history. It's a lot of fun to race. We've done a lot to it. Uh, we made a fundamental decision when we bought it that rather than preserve every inch of it, we would continue to move it forward. But within the spirits of vintage racing, the car runs a 2.2 liter Triumph uh, wet liner type engine, uh, which was original. And uh, we've, we've switched to a T5 Ford transmission, which is legal with the different vintage groups we run with. And uh, this car, is, was, we started at the back of the pack and we've moved it through the middle and now we run, uh, thankfully, up towards the front of the pack with this thing when we run it. We want to run a modern Hoosier Speedster. It's, it's a vintage race tire, but it's obviously a modern compounding. It's a 185 65 15 and we run it on a five and a half inch wide Panasport wheel. We've got two sets of these, so if we run low on tires, which is, as you can see, this one's about done, uh, we can switch them over at a rent race weekend. Um, suspension wise, this is uh, largely TR3. We have switched to TR6 calipers. We run Coney shocks. We run a ball joint from a Jaguar, uh, stiffer coil springs. Things have been reinforced a little bit, but essentially this is the way this car ran in the early 60s. Uh, we have upgraded these beautiful new alloy hubs. This is one of the things we're doing this week, and these are from Richard Good. And what they do is strengthen the front end so you have less chance of breaking a spindle. They're also a little lighter, which makes the car that much quicker. Well, we don't really want to ruin the patina of this old race car, and much of this paint is original from when it was raced in the 60s. Uh, the interior is getting a little shabby, so we're going to clean things up a little bit and we're in hopes we can have everything back together in about the next 30 to 60 days and have this thing ready to race next season. I'll tell you what, I'd almost like to get... What we have here today is a 1964 Lotus Elan Series 1. This thing has been 